Hi everyone, welcome to Phonics Time Together. Um, we've got something a little different in this video, it's for phase two, so slightly earlier. So if your child um, is not, not ready for phase three or has found that a little bit tricky, this is a really good confidence builder. And what, what I've done is um, it follows a different structure because what we're going to do is teach our children these first th uh, six GPCs. S, A, T, P, I and N, uh, the GPCs for those six, um, will then get an idea of something called oral blending. So instead of just reading it on the screen, they have to listen to the sounds and try and make the word. Um, and then we'll build to blending and actually reading some words. So if your child's um, ready to start reading, um, the, you know, they, they might be at school and have struggled, or they could be in nursery, they could be sort of three or four, uh, then this might be for them, okay? So what we're going to do is work together on something called phase two. So in phase two, the children start to sort of learn some of the first GPCs. And the GPC stands for a grapheme phoneme correspondence. So we take the first one, S is a phoneme, and written there is the grapheme for it, which is the letter S. And then they're going to learn A, T, P, I, N. So they're the phonemes that have, that have just come out of my mouth, um, made up by the letters S, A, T, P, I, N. And then when we think about a grapheme, that's how it's written. Uh, and for all these guys, they're all just a single letter to represent the sound. So we're going to work through uh, those six, and the idea is that um, I would cover one one of these each day. Uh, so I'd play the video, learn the first S, um, and maybe to help them link um, to people they know. So my little girl, um, she she often when she hears a letter, she'll talk. She'll use her friends' names from nursery, or when we made it up to D. She was talking about daddy and mm, mummy, um, her brothers. So names are really good if you want to get them to help remember these and start to get this idea that some names begin with different letters. So we'll learn the letters. You've got an oral blending activities. So I've put two in there where the child can join in and try and figure out what I'm saying. Because uh, I'll just be saying the sounds. They've got to try and figure out the word and then do something with that. They've then got... Uh, the chance to practice uh, the six GPCs. So I, I will put them up on screen and they have to try and um, say them. Okay. And so what they're trying to do there is recognize it. So it's on the screen and then they have to say them. I will then do a s different activity, which they're all up on the screen. And I'll say, okay, can you point to the A? Ah. Can you point to the P? So that's um, been able to do the opposite. Okay. Um, so they'll do that. And then finally, they'll get a chance to read some words. And this is really, really good for children. Once they realize that they can read a few words, really, really good for motivation. And the idea that actually I can be a reader. And that's why SAT PIN, so S A T P I N, works really, really well. Because by covering those, we can start to make a few words and we can get our children reading those words. Okay, so hopefully you're sitting comfortably, everybody. We're going to start our journey to becoming a reader. And we're going to learn uh, some letters. And we're going to learn what sound they make. So that when we see them, we know what sound to say with our mouths. And then we will see them on a page and we can say, oh, I know that one. So that's the plan. And today's GPC that you're going to learn is on the screen. Okay, so can you put your finger at the top and can you move it all the way around? It looks a little bit like a snake because this is the s. Can you say s? Fantastic. Can you say s snake? Excellent. So we've got s. s, s. So if we see this letter, if we see this on the page, we know it's going to make a s sound. Can you say s three times? Fabulous. So this one is s. Okay, this one, this GPC is a, 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 a animal. Can you say a? A, a, a. Can you say a three times? Fantastic. Can you start at the top of a and go round the loop, up the line, down to the bottom. That is the ah. So can you say ah three times? Fantastic. Do you know anybody who's got a name that begins with ah? Okay, we're on to another GPC. This one is t, 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 tiger. T. Can you say t? 
can you say it three times? Excellent, that's really, really good. Do you know anybody that begins with t? Any names? T. And this GPC is p, 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 pink. P, p, p. Can you say p? Excellent, can you say it three more times? P, p, p. Really good. I wonder if you know anybody that's got a name that begins with p. This GPC is i, 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 i ink. Like ink in a pen. I. Can you say I? Well done. Can we say it three more times? I, I, I. Your turn. Fantastic. Might be harder to think of a name that begins with I. Can you see anything around your room or around your house that begins with I? Can you go and have a look and find something that begins with I? This one is M. Mm. So this GPC is M. Mm. Mm, 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 no. Mm, 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 no. Can you say mm? Mm for no. Mm, mm, mm. Can you say it three times? Well done. Now, is there something on your body that begins with mm? Eyes? No. Hair? No. Ears, no. Chin, no. Nose, mmm. Nose, yes. Nose begins with mmm. Excellent job, everybody. So that's six GPCs you've learnt now. So six graphemes that have been on the screen, and you know the phoneme that goes with it. So if you saw the letter A, ah, you knew that that made that sound so that's really good and you did the other five as well what we're going to do next is something called oral blending so i'm going to use some sounds and they might not be those six they might be different sounds and you've got to work out what the word i'm trying to say so this is called oral blending now, i've got two activities for you and the first one involves uh, your body okay so at the moment you're probably sitting down so here goes so this is activity one can you stand up Well done if you heard up, up. Okay, can you point to your n, e, z? N, e, z. Can you point to them? Well done. N, e, z, knees. You were pointing to your knees. Okay, next one. Can you touch your f, e, t? F, e, t. Can you touch them? That's correct. So you should touch your feet. F e t feet. Oh, we've heard this one already. Here it comes. Can you put your finger on your n o z? N o z. Put your finger on your n o z. Well, I don't know if you realised that that was n o z nose. So you should have your finger on your nose. Okay, next one. Can you put one arm round your b a k b a k? So you should have one arm round your back b a k back. Ready? Here's a funny one to finish off. Can you wiggle your b o m b o m? Hopefully, you should have been wiggling your bum. B o m. Okay, activity two is slightly different. So here's activity two. You are going to find some different things in the house. Here's your first one. After each one, hopefully uh, whoever sat with you can pause the video and get ready for the next one. Okay, so here's the first thing you need to find. Can you find a p e n? P e n. Off you go. Can you go find one? Can you find a sp u n sp u n? Off you go. Again, you might want to pause the video before we do the next one.
Hopefully, so far, you bought a p a n a pen, and you found a sp u n a spoon. Here's your next one. Can you find a t a d e t a d e t a d e? Can you go and find one? Now you might want to pause the video. Okay, if you do those tasks correctly, so you should have a p -e -n pen, sp -u -n spoon, t -e -d -e, a teddy, and the last one. Can you go and find a b o k, b o k? Off you go. Go and find one. Remember to pause the video. Well done, everybody. You should have finished off by finding the b o k. That was the book. So you should have had a pen. Did you find the spoon? Did you get a teddy? Did you get a book? And that's a good activity you can try. Um, it, hopefully your mums or dads or whoever is with you can try that activity with you. Okay, so just saying the sounds and you trying to work out the word. Excellent, everybody. Next, we're going to practice some of those letters that you should already know. They'll appear on the screen. What I want you to do is say the phoneme for them. So say what it is, and then I will be saying them, and you have to point to the correct one. But to start with, just have to say the names of these coming up on the screen. So are we ready? Here goes. Well done if you said a s t. Okay, here's three more. Excellent stuff. So you should have said n p i. Excellent. Right. So those are all. Those graphemes are all on the screen. I'd like you to point to. Fantastic if you pointed to Okay. Can you point to I? I. Can you point to I? Fantastic. Here is I. Can you point to Fabulous. Over here it is t. Okay, we've got three left. Can you point to n? N. Excellent. You should have pointed to n. Can you point to a? A. Here is a. Well done if you got that one. And the last one. This one is p. Excellent practice, everybody. That is fabulous. Well done. So you've learnt your six GPCs. You've had a go at oral blending. You're starting to uh, be able to hear the sounds and say what the word is. If, you com if you're now confident and you've got those letters, we're ready to try and read some words. And we're going to call this blending. So we're going to use the sounds and blend them back together. So like on our activity, when I said go and find a p, a, n, we had to blend those p, a, n bits together to make pen. And we're going to do the same when we're reading. And we've got our blue sound buttons to help us. So here are our sounds. We've got two of them. I, t. When we blend that together, I, t makes it. I, t, it. Can you, you have a go? Excellent. I, t, it. Parents, you might want to pause the video at this point and let them have a few goes at that. Okay, let's try this one a little bit longer. This time we've got three sound buttons. Let's say those. Here we go. S -a -t sat. Can you have a go? Okay, parents, you might want to rewind and do the previous word and then come back to this one. Let them have another go. So lots and lots of goes so they're confident. But we'll move on. Here's the next one. S -i -t sit. Can you have a go? Excellent blending. S -i -t sit. Next one. P -i -t pit. Your turn. 
and we've got t i p tip this time. Can you have a go at that one? Wow, this is amazing reading, really good. And we've got a new one. Here we go. Let's try this one. P i p pip. Your turn. Really, really good. Okay. This time we've got s i p sip. We might sip our drink. Okay, can you read this one? S i p your turn. And s i p sip. Really good. Okay, so we've just done seven words. At this point, you might want to just concentrate on one. Um, if your child's looking really confident at these, use this page, pause um, uh, the video and have a go at reading them. If they're struggling with certain sounds, on the left-hand side, you can see the letters that they've been learning. Okay, so pause the video, have a practice at those reading. Okay, a huge well done from me. You've taken some big, big step to becoming a reader. You're starting to see some letters on the page, those graphemes, and you've been able to say what they represent, which is really, really good. And you're now not only doing that, you're getting those sounds and you're blending them together and you are a reader. You are reading those words, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you for joining and I hope that's um, useful. It's slightly different to what I've done before, but it is it should be good for those early readers that are super keen and want to be um, having a go at reading some simple words. Uh, keep using this video and over and over with them, practicing reading those words. It's really, really good for confidence. Um, your child will hopefully get to a point where they don't need to blend and they'll just be able to say the words because they recognize them because they've done it that many times. And that's what we want really, as well as that really good confidence. Thank you for taking this um, taking this on as a challenge and for joining in with this video uh, subscribe to get, have a look at the, the other videos um, and uh, huge well done keep it up